Hello and welcome, I'm back again. Now I've come on to show you how to do this little box. Little oblong box, well, rectangle, oblong. And I've just used the Crafty Wizard paper and it's double sided so I've alternated the colours there like that. And then I've just used one of my little doily dies. Uh, put a punched out a die cut a circle out of the polka dot and pull a bow. Use some of my raffia just to get a bit more interest and that's it. And I think it's super versatile little box and so easy to make. So what we'll need is, you'll need a piece 10 by 10, okay? And then you'll need a piece 9 and 1 16th by 5 and 1 16th. Okay, so that's your lid, and that's going to be the box. Now I have written that down. You'll not jot it down. That's the only two pieces that we'll need to make the box. Okay, right then, so what we're going to do now is get your 10 by 10. Okay, I've got to tore it down now. Get your 10 by 10 and start scoring. Now this has got a bit funny, I think I've used this for a second hand when I bought it, so it has gone a bit funny. So now we're going to score, right, so it's both sides and 10, and you're going to score at 2. So score at 2. Right, flip it over, opposite side. Two again, and then turn it to the top. So you've got your mark here, and you've got your score mark here. So you've got two score marks here. You want to go down the other way now. So now you want to go down four and six. you've got like that okay now then let's uh, do the lid we'll score the lid while we're here now all you've got to do on the lid is one and a half on all four sides one and a half one and a half turn one and a half and then turn one and a half Super, super easy. So you've got it like that, okay? There it is. Right then, we can get rid of that now. And then we can start burnishing. Get all them good. I'll use this now though. Burnish. So I'll get all them burnished. I have had uh, an update on a redundancy, I am one of them. Uh, no, I am chosen to be one of them. There's 10 people have got to go. So that is absolutely, I'm just gutted. But I'm afraid it's just one of them things that took this moment to it. Uh, I've been there 26 years. Uh, that's all I know. I had, I was there when I left to have my daughter and left for two years then went back put two days a week then when she started school i did the uh, school errors and then i left to have lily then i went back after a year because we needed the money and then i did two days again and then eventually it's gone like three days uncontracted then it's gone like every day i was doing and uh yeah i just can't believe it <laughs> but there you go i think it's happened for a reason anyway so Right then, now you've got like a little square here, and you've got a little square here. You've got your little rectangle there, that's the bottom of your box. So all you're going to do is cut up here on each side. Just like that. And turn it round on the opposite side, you cut up there again. It's so easy. Right, now all I tend to do is grab that and then burnish that again. And then that side too. Okay, so all you're going to be doing is doing this. Get your 
best so you to do it with. That's it, yeah. Now what I'm going to do is take a nice little sliver off each square. Okay. Just a little sliver, it's like you're cutting that score mark away on each side. Just like so. It's into into wine design. I'll leave the ladies link where I got it from. So we've got that now, and then all we want to do now is just cut up there. On each side so there there and the same opposite side again so you've got them two cut like that on your lid okay there we go okay then and then all I'm going to do now is bring them in. That's it, right. Now then, all I normally tend to, instead of doing that, I'm going to hide that in between them two. And it will make it more sturdier. Okay. Like that. So what I'm going to do is put glue on the middle bit inside middle bit like that all right then i'm just going to bring that one round put that there like that okay and then reminding that so when you look in the box you can see so I'm going to do that right and then on this bit now I'm going to put glue on this bit. You could do these for Christmas, decorate them with Christmas, put cookies in them, put chocolate things, sweets, little selection box. You could do them as birthdays. Put makeup in them. Anything you want, really, don't I? Oh, I'll turn back again. My daughter just found me. There's only in the bedroom. Right then, so I've got this down like that. Right, and then we'll do this one the same. I'm just going to look at which one's the best way to go. So I want that little square bit in the middle. And I think. So what I'm going to do is put glue on this bit again, the inside bit square. I'm going to have to try and put these together now, so I've only got 15 minutes if I, I do it on uh, YouTube, um, I don't know what it's called now, yeah I forgot. Then I'm just going to put glue on this bit as well. You know this um, white card I got from the Hobbycraft, I got it in A3 and it's 300 GSM. Oh my god, I am not going to be using nothing else. It is fantastic. It really is. So thick, it makes you all your projects that sturdy. I just highly recommend it. I really do. So there's your box oblong. Okay, now we got to do is make the lid. Now all we're doing now is giving in like that. Okay, so we'll need to put glue on. Yeah, on all four squares. Oops, oops. Like that, and then 
bring it in. Okay, and the next one. I've already got the papers cut out to layer. Still a bit dragging on a bit. Okay, now this one. I just think it's so cute. And you know, if you know me, you know I love a box. And I am so chuffed because I can finally say I'm over 300 mark now. <laughs> Good lady. It's down to all you guys um, sharing my uh, channel as well. So thank you ever so much and thank you if you've joined me. I hope you enjoy my channel. I absolutely love doing it. I'm just so glad I started. I really recommend it if you think about it. It's the best thing I've done. And I can't believe I've done it, but I have, and I'm that chopped. So there's your box lid, and then hopefully that will fit on there. Okay, now we can just lay all this up now. So I've cut them all out ready. So now, what am I gonna do? I've got that one for the top, I know that, and then I've got them two for that bit there. And then I've got them two. I think I'll do it the same as I've done this one. Okay, I'm going to hide that one there because that's under the box there. So all you've got to do is put glue all on these. This is brilliant glue as well. It's got hal glue. This is what I use. It's, uh, it don't warp the paper. In any, if anything, it makes it stronger so good okay then i'm gonna put pop that on there oh. and i've just had another phone call sorry about this i'm gonna have to try and put this one i ain't gonna be able to put it up to get out your watch oh blimey i'm in demand tonight i'm gonna have to tell people when i'm recording i just don't understand why it just goes off Anyway, I'm going to put that one, that's a bigger hole there. I think I'll put that one there. So, let's put, I forgot what I was on about now. Yeah, cow glue, this is good stuff. I will show you a picture of it just in case you don't know. Okay, and then I'm just gonna, yeah, anyway, for layering, all I'll do is measure there, how much that, and then I'll take quarter of a mil off. I'll take a quarter off a mil that way, quarter off a mil that way. So you've got like a little, um, say an eighth each side really, then I, so that's what I'll do for um, when I'm layering. And these are my bits for the top, so I'm gonna get the, Biggest, bigger holes at the bottom. Did you know, you know, I forgot to mention, you know, when I was doing my sewing box and I used polka dot, and I, I never even thought about it being directional, but it is. And I don't know that, I couldn't believe it. So, yeah, be careful of that as well. It's directional, which I didn't know. So, the same again, I've just took a quarter, off, quarter of an inch off each side off the length and off the width and then that gives you a nice little board all the way around then well all oh, fine as well don't anyway. okay and again and it gives you a little bit of wiggle room not too much but enough to uh, position it. Right, that's the box. Now, I've already done that. All I've done is uh, took a quarter off an inch off the length and the width, and I used the back of this. And then I just took another quarter of an inch off 
the length and the width to do me layering of that one. So I'll put that one all down now. on the table and then we do that go it all there we go now I'm going to just do my uh, opposite side and I'm just going to do that side now with this paper I have been ordering it a bit down. I had my first ever uh, Stamperia pad. I've had it for a few weeks. I've just done a project for it. And I love that paper. Oh my God. It's amazing. I'm so chuffed. I will come on and show you what I've done with it. Was, uh, was on a switch playing with the mates oh my god anybody think I was being murdered the way squirrels I never thought oh, I never did that when I was on my own Atari one of my brother's Atari it was fab and uh, we had to take it in turns thought like I was on here baby and he was really good at it. So I'll be on I'll be on for five minutes and I'll die. I'll lose all my lives and then my brother would go on it and he'd be on it forever. I'll be going, Mum, take that. So I'll give let me have another go. I have three girls to your one. And I was still on it over on it very long. I used to love River Aid. Oh, does anybody remember Atari and River Aid and Pac-Man and Space and Vibers and oh god, that were they the best? Um, Craig and uh, the kids bought me one uh, one year. You know the uh, new version of the Atari. It come out, play. And it, it just the joystick wore the same. Now I felt like I was going to rip it off. I loved it though, but it wore the same as the old ones. Now I've done one of them as me embellishments. Remember. It was a square, but I've just cut round it, and I'm going to put that on there, and I'm going to put treats and sweets in this one. So I'm just going to layer that up. I've got my raffia again. And I'm just going to go round it three times like that. And what I tend to do is use my 3D shapes to stick this on as well, if you know what I mean. Side. Oh, that's alright. See, I'm washing now. And try and just push them all underneath that. And then you've got it all set. And that's about then. And then cut that off. And then I'm just going to layer it up again. I'm just going to put another layer on top of that. Just so it's got a bit of a depth on it. Now, 
I should have my up glue on. I normally put the something like this, I use up glue. If you've got instant grab, I'll just go back a bit of glue on that. Oh, a little embellishment and then there's your box I think that's super quick and super cute so thank you so much for watching take care and see I've got to try and put all this together now take care and see you soon thank you bye